All right, so I'm waking up early this morning to show you guys some exciting updates that are coming from the Super Note. I've pretty much over the last year kind of like put the Super Note on a shelf. And with this recent update, I'm excited to share with you guys some pretty cool features that are going to make the Super Note exciting to use for digital planning and note taking in 2023. So stay with me. So generally I don't talk about beta updates on products, but sometimes I think it's important, especially when the entire industry is evolving. And we've recently seen with a lot of different e-paper devices, them starting to be able to recognize text. And with this new beta update with Supernote, you are able to do some of that inside your Supernote device. So first and foremost, if you go into your settings, you're going to see the ability, if you have this set up, you can go into system and do a software update and you're going to want to be on 2.7.21 when i saw that this beta release came out and some of the updates that were included in it, i was like wow this is pretty impressive and one of the things is allows you to recognize your handwriting as text i'm going to show you how you guys can do that as well as i'm going to show you how you can use this device if you're first getting started for digital planning and note taking we're going to kind of do a little 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 tour of the system so you guys can get a look at it and we'll get talking about the super note and how you can use it all right so the first thing you're going to do is go into your note section and then choose to create a new notebook from here we can go ahead and we can title the notebook something that's going to be rememberable so we're going to do sample text and then we make sure we have real-time recognition enabled and we hit ok what this is going to do is going to create a new notebook for us and now we can come ahead and for my sake, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to go up to these three dots here and I'm going to choose a template. And for here, I'm going to do a lined template. So that way I have some lines to work with. And now I'm going to go ahead and show you how you guys can actually handwrite in the notebook. So we're just going to write here is some hand written notes on the super note since completing update period. So now I can go ahead and click on this little A with the little eyeball. And by tapping that, you're going to see that my notes have been now turned into text. And it's done a pretty good job. You can see here is some handwritten notes on the super note since completing update. From here, I can go ahead and I can export that document as a text or a Word document. And I can do a text and I can do export. And then I can choose to jump to that text if I would choose to. Now, what's really cool about this is you can see that the handwritten notes were actually converted text line by line. So when we were able to look at that original note here, you can see that the recognition was line by line. So as I go through and write, each one of the lines are going to represent text. I imagine when I pull this into Word or pull this into a text document, I can go ahead and re-tabulate the format of that paragraph or any sentence structure. That I want. But now that I can take my handwritten notes and convert them to text on a super note, it's pretty fabulous. So when I saw this, I was like, let's take a look at how this device now can work for digital planning. And that's where I got a little more excited. Previously, I used this device for digital planning, but this didn't feel like the ecosystem and the environment really was like really native to my style and workflow. But I think that's greatly improved. And the fact that the Super Note in general is just a superior product when it comes to the feel of handwritten ceramic pens that they have with the tips are absolutely amazing. Now, one thing I'm really not excited about Super Note is just the overall like design of it. I mean, it's basically plastic. And to me, that just comes off as a little, eh, it looks cheap, I'll be honest. However, the hardware itself has definitely improved. I wouldn't say this really lines up next to hardware when we look at some of the newer devices like the Amazon Scribe that has resolution of clarity that's just beyond everything. It is not backed with display, so that makes it tough 
to use at night, but for an e-paper device, I think this new update brings some potential to it. So let's look at it for digital planning. So I can go back to my original tab here and I can go ahead and choose my portrait view planner. Now this planning system does work in portrait mode as well as landscaping mode. So you can have that ability to jump between whatever one and inside our planning system, you can choose portrait or landscaping mode. I'll show you landscaping mode in a second when we get into that part of the planning system. So one thing that's unique about using a super note for digital planning is you have the ability to utilize all these different hyperlinks. We can click on a hyperlink here and that'll take us to, for example, our vision board. And here you can see a vision board that we have. You can also click on say the tab to get to a January month. And that'll take us to our out of view and then we can click on a date and that'll actually physically take us to the date of that planning system. So when we established our daily pages, we want to make sure we included the things that are very common to you when you do traditional planning. For example, a planning board, an area where you can have purpose, your daily key three. If you follow our planning system, you can learn all about the daily key three. It's the three things that are going to matter most to you in your day that's going to ensure your success, not only today, but the weeks and months to come as you move through the year. A daily to do, a place for scheduling, and you can swipe to the right here and get to the second side of this panel, this page spread, where now you can have a place for journaling, note taking, meal planning, reviewing your opportunities exercise and health, it's all right here. So let's go ahead and let's actually look at how we can utilize this device for digital planning. First off, we have the ability, if we take our two fingers now with this update and we tap, this toolbar is going to disappear. We can go ahead and hit this button as well and it'll bring it back. The other thing that we can do is we can take our finger, hold and slide, and that'll bring our toolbar like such. And now we can also hit this little button here and that'll change the rotation. And we can click and hold and we can bring this toolbar really wherever we want on the screen. And at any given time, if we want to bring that toolbar back, we can just slide it to the edge of the screen. Being able to move that toolbar pretty much everywhere on a page is really going to make the flow of you being able to update things and make additional notations, highlight a lot more convenient. So when we get into the left side here, we have the ability to click on the pen tool. We can choose the pen tool and we can choose the thickness of the pen tool as well as a shade. We can also go ahead and have a secondary pen tool if we choose to, as well as a third pen tool. And for my sake, I keep the third pen tool as a highlighter. And you can see there is three different segments of highlighting. The white will actually knock out any of the text. So kind of like a whiteout in my opinion. This might work really well for if you have a black box and you want to do some highlighting there, but really I think of it as a whiteout in my opinion. You also have the ability to go ahead and erase. And from here, you can change a little bit of how that thickness of that eraser looks. The one that I really like is the eraser select. And I'll show that here in a minute. So let's go ahead and let's start with a new daily page. Let's say I'm planning for Tuesday. I'm gonna go ahead and choose the pen tool. I'm gonna choose to uh, write an appointment here. Coffee with Tom. Or actually it would be Don in this case. Let's go put that in there. Now I'm going to jump over to the highlighter. And like I said before, it has a couple different shades. Now, if I choose the real darkest one and go over top of that, it pretty much blacks out my text for the most part. Now I can use the undo button and I can remove that. I can also bring it back. And one thing I found that was really cool. If I take the eraser and do a selection and just select this little area right here, it'll actually remove the highlighting across the entire area because it was done in one stroke. So we'll go back to the highlighter and we're gonna choose one of the lighter shades. And now I can highlight. When you look at that, it really allows that appointment or that date of activity to really stand out on the super note. I can go ahead and continue to write out. Maybe I have an appointment here. And let's put that in there and go ahead and write that. Now, one thing that commonly happens in daily planning is I don't finish yesterday's task. Well, I can go ahead and I can jump back to yesterday by clicking on this little hyperlink up there. And let's just say, for example, on this daily task, I wasn't able to complete these to do's. Well, I can come over here where the lasso tool is, select that, and then go around those daily to do's and hit copy. Now I'm just going to swipe to the right one additional page and I'm going to tap the screen 
and those daily to do's now show up on that second page. Well, from here, well, this one here was actually done. So I'm gonna go ahead and use the eraser and select that portion there. And that's gonna erase that to do. So that's really awesome about digital planning because we learned that handwriting, your to do's, your notes, it creates so much more engagement in your brain. And something about having to carry over or move forward those to-dos helps us redefine the importance and the priority of doing those to-dos. In this case, by simply being able to copy and paste, we shorten that time down that's needed to handwrite everything. We also don't forget anything. And this also then allows us to check and reprioritize those things. For example, I can go ahead and just hit undo here. And in our planning system, well, this here is actually the most important and this here is a secondary item on my list. So I can go ahead and create a priority before I mark off that I was able to complete that particular piece. The other thing that's really cool is the responsiveness to the pinch and zoom. I can go ahead and pinch and zoom here and you can see that I can quickly respond and it gives me even like a navigator window to show you where I am in the page when I pinch and zoom. And I can even go a layer deeper with the zoom. Now when it comes to using my the remarkable, the pinch and zoom I find just is not as efficient, reactive, and the fact that the navigator is here really gives me a place of placement on the page so that I can easily get, and I can also go ahead and zoom back out to where I need to be and get to my original page. Where this is really convenient is when we look at the landscape system. So looking at the landscape planner here, you can see our vision board. And we can dive into all these pages. If you have interest in our planning system, go ahead and check out our website, keychsuccessplanner.com. There'll also be a link in the description. But if I wanna go ahead and jump to a particular date, say January, and when I get to January, I wanna to get to the second. Also noting our planner does start in Sunday as well as Monday start date. So that's actually really convenient for a lot of you, depending on where you are located in this fine world. So right here is our landscape view of our planner. We can bring back our toolbar and we can go ahead and pinch and zoom as I was showcasing before in the other system. So utilizing this navigator, I not only can see my entire page spread, but I can also use it to move throughout the page spread. This allows me to have the maximum space for writing down appointments. and still be able to see where I'm at on the page and quickly navigate to another section if I choose to, all while being able to unzoom out to see the entire page spread. Well, that was a look at the super notes since the latest release of the beta version that allows you to use your handwritten notes and turn those into text. That shows me that super note is committed to the community to help building out an e-paper device that's gonna work for all of us and create a return for many of us. Being able to utilize this with the Key Success Planner to help move my priorities forward, to get those goals and ideas that I have down on paper and in action makes it a device that I'm thrilled to see people like yourself interested in using. If you learned something in this video, do me a favor, hit the like button, subscribe to our channel as we cover not only this product, but many products in the digital planning world and tech space. We provide tips and tricks on how to move yourself forward and encourage you to become better daily planners. And if you wanna follow and learn more about our channel, go ahead and check out keychsuccessplanner.com. I'm Brandon Bonderfer, the creator and founder of The Planning System, and look forward to learning more about you as we embark on this journey together. And before we go, if you have any questions, go ahead and hit the comments Someone in the community, I'm sure, will be able to answer for you. With that being said, God bless each and every one of you, and Lord willing, we'll see you in the next video.